I'm gonna show you a rotation coin paradox. Here we have a two coin. My first coin will have a radius RA, and my second one will have a radius RB. And I'm gonna rotate coin B all around a coin A. So my question is, how many rotations does it take to get to the first hour position? Well, most people will make a circumference of both circle be a straight line, and then divide the circumference of coin A by a coin B. But that's totally wrong. This is why. At the straight line, we need a 360 degree to rotate perfectly, but at the circle, it doesn't happen. At the circle, we create an alpha angle between this coin and the center of the coin. At this point, our coin in the circle has done one full rotation, but in the straight line, we missed that alpha angle. So the distance that has been taken was 360 degree minus alpha divided by 360 degree and we multiply by a circumference of a coin B. That was just one rotation. What if we take a N rotation so our coin B is going to rotate all around and back to its first position? Well, we just need to multiply those equations by N. So our equation will be like this. Note that this is equal to a circumference of coin A since we are rotating all around a coin A one times. And then we should realize that alpha N is nothing more than 360 degree since we are making a full rotation. So our equation will magically turn into this. Solve for N and we get N is equal to RA divided by RB plus 1. And note that this is one more rotation than the suggestion we make in the beginning part of video. Now we can use this formula. For example, I have a two equal coin with same radius. By this formula, I'll get two rotation to bring this coin back to its first position. So let's check this out. Our experiment is success, so I think our formula is correct. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.